Hello everyone. Today I am going to tell about power set and solutions of some important questions. The collection of all subsets of a set A is called the power set of A. It is denoted by P of A. In the power set, every element is a set. If you see the examples, you will understand easily. For example, here the, in the first set, there are two elements, one and two. So N of A is equal to two. So you can write uh, the number of subsets for the set A is equal to 4 because 2 square 2 to the power of n that is 2 square that is equal to 4. So you can write 4 subsets for the set A here. So the subsets are uh, the, sub, the set itself uh, one subset and the empty set is uh, subset for every set. So you can write uh, those two subsets first and then one is the element. So this is one subset and two is an element. So you can write one more subset here. So there are total four subsets here. So if you write these subsets uh, again inside the braces, that is another, you will get another set that is called power set of set A. You can see here, these are the subsets inside the braces. So here the number of elements for this power set are four. So here the number of subsets is equal to number of elements of the power set. So these two are equal. And if you see the next example here, there is only one element. So there is only one element. So number of subsets you can write as two to the power of one that is equal to two. So you can write two subsets. The set, the, the set itself is a subset and the empty set. So there are two sets. And if you write these two subsets inside the braces, then you will get a power set. So here the number of elements are one and two. There are two elements for this power set. And the next one is A is equal to empty set, an empty set. So we know that in an empty set, there are no elements. So number of elements uh, here is zero. And number of subsets you can write as two to the power of zero, that is equal to one. So only one subset you can write for an empty set. Uh, the set itself, the empty set itself is a subset for the empty set. So the subset here is the empty set itself. So the power set uh, of an empty set is equal to here, uh, the empty set itself, an element of this power set. So you can write again the empty set inside the braces because this is the subset. So you can write inside the braces, then you will get the power set of an empty set. So you can write like this also. So here the number of elements for the empty set, uh, a power set of empty set is equal to only one. So you can see here, one is equal to one here. And from this table, you will understand number of elements of a power set A is equal to the number of subsets of set A. You can see here number of elements of power set A. So these are the number of elements of power set A is equal to a number of subsets of set A. So these two values are equal. You can see here. So this you can write as number of elements of a power set N of P of A is equal to 2 to the power of N. So you can use this directly. So where, where n is the number of elements of set A. These are some important questions. So this question is from NCRT exercise 1.3. Uh, this is question 5. How many elements has P of A if A is equal to an empty set? So we know that A is equal to an empty set means there are no elements. There are zero elements. So power set of an empty set we know that the uh, subset of uh, this empty set is the empty set itself. So you have to write the empty set as an element in the power set of A. So this is the power set. Uh, so N of P of A is equal to, there is only one element in the power set. So N of P of A is equal to one because there is only one element. So you can check like this, N is equal to zero because there are no elements in a power set. So two to the power of zero is equal to one subset. You can write one subset for this set. So n of p of a is equal to 2 to the power of 0, that is equal to only 1. So you can write, uh, directly, you can calculate like this. And next one is, uh, if a is equal to this uh, 1 inside the braces, find p of p of a and n p of power of power of a. So first to see, there is only one element in the set a. So you can write, uh, two subsets, the set itself and an empty set for this set. First, write the subsets for A and the subsets are the elements of the power set. So, write inside the braces the subsets of uh, the set A. Those are, this is the subset of A and uh, empty set is also a subset of A. So, you have to write an empty set and the set itself inside the braces again. 
this is the power set of A. And uh, next again, you have to uh, write power set of power set of A. So again, you have to find the subsets for this set, this power set. Here, there are two elements. So you have to write uh, the power sets. So the first one is, again, you have to write inside the braces. This is a subset for this one. And again, this is a subset for this one, this empty set. And again, the full set is a subset for the set power set. And an empty set is again the subset for this set. So there are four subsets inside the braces you have to write because this is power set of power set of A. So now the set is this one. You have to write subsets for this set. So these are the subsets for this set. And uh, now N of P of P of A is equal to here the elements are one, two, three, four. There are four elements. And you can check like this, n is equal to 1, only one element, then 2 to the power of n is equal to 2 to the power of 1, that is called two subsets. So here you will get two subsets. See here, there are two subsets. And again, here this is a set, you have to find n is equal to 2 here, two, uh, two elements here, so n is equal to 2. Again, you will get four subsets, rule square is equal to 4, so four subsets you will get. So here the number of elements here is equal to 4. Or you can calculate like this directly. N of P of P of A is equal to here. There are two P's. So you can write two twos here. Two to the power of, again, two to the power of N. First, you have to calculate two to the power of N. N is equal to one here. So two to the power of one is two. So two square is equal to four. Yeah, directly, you can calculate like this also. And this is second question. Here in the set A, there are two elements. See here, one and two inside the braces. And you have to find P of A and N of P of A. So here A is equal to, first write the set. Here there are two elements. So you will get four subsets. First write the subset for one and for the subset for this one, this set. And subset, this set itself is subset for uh, this set. So again, uh, empty set is a subset for this set. So you have to write all subsets uh, for the set A. There are four subsets, so you four elements per power set. Therefore, n of p of a is equal to four. You can check directly like this: two square is equal to four subsets, so four elements. And next one is show that uh, n of p of p of p of m empty set is equal to four. So there are three power sets here. So given set is an empty set, you have to find the power set for an empty set is, uh, you have to write uh, the empty set itself, a subset for the uh, set. So you have to write inside the braces an empty set. This is a subset for an empty set. And again, P of P of uh, an empty set is, again, you have to write subsets for this set. Those are first write the set itself, the subset, and again, an empty set. Again, you have to write, or subsets for this set. Those are four sets. An empty set again, a subset for this set. Now there are four elements in this set. So n of p of p of p of uh, an empty set is equal to four. So you can check like this. And if you use the tip, see here there are three p's. So you can use two, two to the power of two to the power of two to the power of n like this. Then you will get directly four. Hence proved. Now, please do these similar questions. Here are the answers. 